My name is Katia, and in this video, we're going to be going over Unit 8 of the AP Computer Science A curriculum and looking through 2D arrays in Java. So 2D arrays can be thought of as matrices, and they're arrays of arrays that allow you to store information in a table with rows and columns. So in 2D arrays, the outer arrays can be thought of as the rows, and the inner arrays can be thought of as the columns. So let's look at a way to implement it. To declare a 2D array, you write the type, so int, followed by two square brackets, followed by the name, equals your new int, which is the type, and in your square brackets you're going to put the sizes. This is really similar to the regular 1D array in Java, but instead now you just have added a new dimension. So when you put sizes in, your first will be the size of the rows, and your second will be the size of the columns. So in this case, we did three and five. So to initialize and declare, you can also use um, curly brackets similarly to how you can with regular arrays. You would just need um, two sets of curly brackets, one for the outside and one for each individual row. And then to access and set all of the different elements in your 2D array, similar to a regular 1D array, you call the name followed by two square brackets, each with the index you want to access, and then you would set it equal to 5 in this case. So let's look at a visual representation. Um, one thing to note is that when 2D arrays are created, their contents are automatically initialized to 0 for numeric types, integers, null for object references, and false for type boolean. This is true of 2D arrays and also regular arrays. So this is a picture and it shows a visual representation of what a 2D array looks like. At the element index 0, 0, you look at the first one, left, and the top. And then the as you go down the rows, your first index will increase by one and as you go down the columns your second index will increase by one so iterating over 2d arrays you use two for loops to go through the rows and each column so for example let's say we have a 2d array and we want to previously it's previously defined and we want to set all of the elements equal to one so for for this integer 2d array you would write a for loop that goes from zero to the array dot length and then that will look at the outer row and then for the columns you would write an inner loop and use another variable set it equal to zero and then iterate through the first array and you would check its length and that will give you the the row the outer is the column the inner is the row and then you would write array i j which are your indices and set them equal to one 